Welcome back, my friends. The news today is that Volkswagen bought a stake in Speng, will jointly develop two new EVs with the Chinese automaker. Volkswagen and Speng will jointly develop two new Volkswagen brand EVs for the Chinese market. Volkswagen is investing $700 million in Speng and taking a roughly 5% stake. The new EVs will be based on the platform that underpins Speng's G9 SUV. Ford on Monday announced significant price cuts for all versions of its electric F-150 Lightning pickup. The cheapest version of the Lightning will now start at about $50,000, a roughly $10,000 cut. Tesla is suddenly cutting vehicle prices. Price cuts are taking effect in the US and Europe. Tesla is trying to rejuvenate sales after lackluster year-end deliveries. The electric vehicle maker is facing stiffer competition and interest rates increased. What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean about the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. And, before we continue, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is InnerLife.com, creator of the InnerLife STS system. InnerLife STS is a cloud mobile platform for mental health care and its integration with primary medical care. InnerLife STS is designed for assessment, data collection and analytics, documentation, and progress tracking. InnerLife STS creates and composes conceptualized narratives and builds them into professional grade reports. These reports are designed for use by mental health professionals, primary care physicians, justice system professionals and universities and include mental health assessment reports, mental health treatment reports, and treatment progress reports. And InnerLife STS uses doctor-selected pseudonames for all patients. So, only the healthcare professional knows the patient identity. Volkswagen said on Wednesday that it has signed a deal to jointly develop two new electric vehicles for China with Chinese EV makers Peng. As part of the deal, Volkswagen will invest about $700 million in Speng, taking a 4.99% stake. Speng's US traded shares were up over 40% on Wednesday morning following the news. Under the deal, Volkswagen and Speng will develop two midsize battery electric models based on the platform that underpins Speng's G9, a midsize electric crossover SUV. In a separate statement confirming the deal, Speng said that the two new vehicles will also incorporate its advanced driver assist software. The new EVs, which will be branded as Volkswagens and sold only in China, are expected to launch in 2026. Volkswagen is paying $15 per US traded share for its Speng stake and will receive a seat on the EV maker's board of directors, subject to regulatory approvals. Volkswagen also confirmed that its Audi subsidiary has signed a separate deal with its longtime Chinese joint venture partner, Shanghai-based Saic Motor, to jointly develop new Audi-branded EVs for the Chinese market. The plan is to develop new EVs in segments where Audi does not currently have entries in China, the company said. We are leveraging the strengths of Volkswagen and our partners to create synergies to bring additional products to market faster, said Ralph Bronstetter, Volkswagen's China chief, in a statement. In doing so, we focus on the specific needs of our customers in China. At the same time, we want to significantly optimize development and procurement costs. Volkswagen electric car sales fall to zero as Tesla and China EV makers win price war. Volkswagen's domestic sales of electric cars in Germany are far behind the company's plans, insiders told Business Daily Handelsblatt. Executives at some Volkswagen plants said demand for particular battery electric models had fallen to zero, while car dealers pointed to a general reluctance of European consumers to buy electric cars, blaming subsidy cuts, high inflation and comparatively high prices. With reference to price cuts by US rival Tesla, company insiders told the newspaper the development is fatal, adding there was also a clear fall in orders for combustion models. A Volkswagen spokesperson pointed to a general reluctance to buy electric cars. The German car giant is facing stiff competition at home and abroad. Volkswagen entered into a price war with US rival Tesla, which has cut prices and is now significantly outselling Volkswagen. Volkswagen produced 97,000 battery electric vehicles between January and May of this year but only sold 73,000 of them, compared to 100,000 Tesla Model Y sales in the same period, according to data service provider Mark Lines, Handelsblatt wrote. Volkswagen is also rapidly losing market share to low-cost Chinese manufacturers in the electric heavy Chinese market, Volkswagen's most important export market by far. Volkswagen is cutting shifts and production on its electric vehicle lines at its Emden plant in Germany despite surging June EV sales figures in Europe. 
The company says the production cuts are due to strong customer reluctance to buy their EVs. According to German newspaper Nordvest citing, Volkswagen was cancelling the late shift in the production of the ID.4 and ID.7 electric SUV and sedan for 14 days. The paper also reported that the three-week holiday for employees working on EVs would be extended by an additional week. Further to this, Volkswagen also recently announced that 300 of the 1,500 temporary workers at the Emden plant would no longer be employed from August. We notice the reluctance of customers in the electrical world very vehemently, Works Council Chief Manfred Wolf told Nordvest citing noting that demand is almost 30% below original forecast production figures. France's record EV sales were boosted by Tesla which sold 8,301 EVs in June, up 146% year-on-year from 3,807 in June 2022. In Germany 42,790 BEVs were sold in June, up 46% on June 2022. The huge growth in EV market share in Europe's two largest car markets is reflective of global trends with the world's number one and two EV makers also chalking up record sales numbers in June. Earlier this week Tesla reported record global sales numbers delivering 466,140 in the second quarter of 2023 smashing its Q1 sales record by 10%. Year-on-year Q2 sales were up a staggering 83% over Q2 2022, as shown in the graph below from Roland Percher. And the trend continued in Australia with EV market share hitting a record 8.8% in June led also by the Tesla Model Y which leapfrogged the Ford Ranger U to become the second best-selling car of any type in Australia behind the Toyota Hilux. Despite huge demand globally and in its home nation of Germany, Volkswagen can't seem to get traction with its EV offerings. The company attributed some of the decline in demand to reduced subsidies for EV buyers in Europe and the impact of inflation however these factors haven't slowed sales growth for Tesla. And, if you follow this channel, you already know that Ford recently cut prices on its electric F-150 Lightning pickups by as much as $10,000. Ford Motor on Monday cut prices for its electric F-150 Lightning pickup, saying its efforts to boost production and lower costs for battery minerals have paid off. Ford said prices for some of the least expensive versions of the Lightning would fall by nearly $10,000. Prices for all versions, including the top-line platinum trim, will drop by at least $6,000 from levels set in March. The company had increased the Lightning's prices several times since its 2021 debut, citing supply constraints and sharply higher prices for the minerals used in the electric truck's batteries. Ford sold just 4,466 Lightnings in the second quarter after a fire in a just-completed truck in February led it to shut down production for five weeks. Tesla cut prices on the Model 3 and the Model Y from 1% to around 17%. Tesla's Model 3 was the best-selling electric vehicle in Germany in last month. The Tesla Model Y was second. Those two models outsold Volkswagen and its popular electric vehicle the ID.4 in Germany. With the new discount, Tesla's Model 3 is priced comparable to Volkswagen's ID.3. The price of a new Tesla Model 3 in the US has dropped between 6% and 14%, depending on configuration. Tesla cut the price of the Model Y by 19%, also depending on configuration. The Model 3 is Tesla's entry-level sedan. The Model Y is a sport utility vehicle or crossover. Tesla also cut the price of its Model S sedan. The Falcon Wing SUV Model X has also seen its price lowered. Generally, electric vehicles qualify for tax credits in the United States, depending on a few factors. A $7,500 clean vehicle tax credit until at least the end of March 2023 is at stake in the United States. As things stand right now, Tesla, and other EV makers, can buy parts and critical minerals from anywhere. And they will still qualify for some EV subsidies. Under the current, interim rules, electric vehicles need to complete final vehicle assembly of their electric cars in North America. The latest round of discounts by Tesla are designed to capture EV tax credits in the longer term. But customers who just took delivery of Tesla vehicles at the end of 2022 paid higher prices. Tesla also enraged customers in China by slashing prices on its Model 3 and Model Y cars. In late December, Tesla discounted its Model 3 and Model Y cars by about $7,500. The goal was to entice customers to take deliveries before the end of the fourth quarter. Tesla also gave some US customers 10,000 miles worth of free supercharging. Tesla reported deliveries of 405,278 vehicles and production of 439,701 vehicles in Q4. Wall Street analysts expected 50% in annual vehicle delivery growth over several years. 
Tesla missed that goal and Wall Street analysts' expectations in the fourth quarter. Tesla now operates four vehicle assembly plants worldwide. In Fremont, California. A newer one in Austin, Texas. Its first overseas factory in Shanghai. And the newest one in Gruenheide, Germany. Wall Street analysts expect much higher in 2023 than in previous years. Tesla is now facing headwinds. More competition. Higher interest rates and slower consumer spending than in recent years. Bernstein analysts wrote, We believe that many investors underestimate the magnitude of the demand challenges Tesla is facing. Bernstein has an underperform rating and price target of $150 on shares of Tesla after the company's share price declined in recent months. But, what do you think? Please leave a comment below and press the like button. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.